August 6, 1945, the United States had dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan. It was the first time that a nuclear bomb had been used. The number of direct deaths exceeded 78,000. I was wiping the desktop. That was when the bomb was dropped. Five seconds from the time the bomb left the airplane until it exploded. And I think there wasn't a man in the airplane that wasn't either timing it with his watch or was it done? I'm sure it wasn't going to work. The detonation of atomic bombs over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 results in horrific casualties and devastation. The long-term effects of radiation exposure also increase cancer rates in survivors, but public perception of the rates of cancer and birth defects among survivors and their children is in fact greatly exaggerated when compared to the reality revealed by the conferency follow-up studies. The reason for this mismatch and its implication are discussed in a perceptive review of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki Survivor Studies, which was published in the August issue of the journal Genetics, a publication of Genetic Society of America. There was a very great scientist who was behind in the research, whose name is Bertrand Gordon, an author and a molecular biologist at the UMR at 72688 of Marcella Universities in France. There is an enormous gap between the belief and what has actually been founded by the researchers. So, Although there is no difference in health or mutations, rates have yet been detected among children of survivors, Gordon suggests that subtitle effects might one day become evident. So that the results should not be used to foster complacency about the effects of nuclear accidents or the threat of nuclear war. I used to support nuclear power until Hiroshima happened. And he also says Hiroshima showed the disaster can occur even in a country like Japan and that has strict regulations and rules. However, I think it's important that debates be rational and I would prefer that people look at scientific data rather than gross exaggerations of danger. Thank you all.